entire vertebral column has a similar articulation the vertebral bodies are primarily joined by intervertebral discs anteriorly the vertebral bodies are connected to one another by a long strap like anterior longitudinal ligament and posteriorly by a similar posterior longitudinal ligament the neural arches of adjacent vertebra articulate through facet joints these are synovial joints with a thick cap the adjacent lamina are joined together by a thick elastic ligament the ligamentum clavum interspinous ligament connect the adjacent spinous muscles the supraspinous ligament connect the tips of the adjacent spinous muscles intertransverse ligaments connect the adjacent transverse muscles these ligaments are together often termed the posterior ligament complex biomechanics of injury mode of injury stable and unstable injury mode of injury it means any person a fall from height example fall from a tree the commonest mode of sustaining a spinal injury in developing countries in developed countries road traffic accidents account for the maximum number other modes are fall of a heavy object on the back example fall of a rock on to the back of a minor sports injuries etc stable and unstable injuries for a purpose of treatment it is crucial to assess the stability of injured spine a stable injury one where further displacement vertebral bodies does not occur because of the intact mechanical leakage unstable injury is one where further displacement can occur because of serious disruption of the structure responsible for stability often it is difficult to decide with some surety uh, whether the spine is stable in all such cases it is safer to treat them as unstable injuries recent biomechanics studies show that from the view point of stability the spine can be divided in three columns anterior medial posterior now this is a picture so and in we see the anterior middle and posterior a is a a part is the anterior column is the b middle column and c is posterior classifications spinal injuries are best classified on the basis of mechanism of injury into the following types flexion injury flex notation injury vertical compression injury extension injury flexion destruction injury direct injury indirect injury due to violent muscles compression 